so we'll now discuss exercise 1.2 question number 2 which goes like this write a pair of negative integers whose difference gives 8 remember the default definition of difference is we always subtract bigger value minus smaller value we always do it like this okay but in case the difference is negative that means we are subtracting a bigger value from the smaller value so like here write a pair of negative integers whose difference gives 8 that means what can be the case we just have to pick two negative integers with a gap of 8 units on the number line so like i can pick minus 2 and minus 10 now the difference gives 8 difference is positive that means i am subtracting smaller value from the bigger value so if i do it like this minus 2 minus minus 10 and i perform the steps it will be minus 2 plus 10 which gives me the answer as 8 so i just need to pick two negative integers with a gap of 8 units on the number line the next question b part we have it like this write a negative integer and a positive integer whose sum is minus 5 so now the, diff, the sum is negative here that means the negative integer has to have a bigger absolute value here okay then only the sum will be negative so i can pick say minus 7 and 2 now when i add these numbers see a negative integer i picked a negative integer and a positive integer now when i add them minus 7 plus 2 i get the answer minus 5 next c part write a negative integer and a positive integer whose difference is minus 3 okay so that means i have to pick a negative integer and a positive integer where the difference or uh, the gap between these two numbers on the number line should be just of three units so if i roughly draw a number line like this you'll get an idea that we have very limited answers to these questions we can definitely not include zero here because zero is neither positive nor negative so this does not uh, give us that option now I, if i pick minus one the next number which is at three units from this it will be 2 so let's take minus 1 and 2 the difference is negative that means I'll be subtracting the bigger value from the smaller value minus 1 minus 2 and it gives me minus 3 one more answer to this question can be if I pick minus 2 I'll be picking 1 here so again I'll write it like this minus 2 and 1 again i will be subtracting the bigger value from the smaller value so that my difference is negative so this is how children we solve exercise 1.2 question number 2